Hello everyone, my name is Kevin with Digital Scan 3D. Today I'm going to be showing you how to scan somebody in under a minute with the Artec EVA. To get started, you'll need an Artec EVA with included USB cable, portable battery, a battery to scanner cable, and a high powered laptop. To begin scanning someone with real time fusion, the first setting we will want to change is the voxel size. The voxel size affects the fusion's resolution. The higher the number, the lower the resolution. We are going to change the voxel size from 1 to 2 as that will give us a smoother fusion and we don't exactly need the accuracy for scanning a person. To change the setting, click on File and then click Settings. Hit the Performance tab and then you will want to change the voxel size at the very bottom to 2. Begin by scanning one side of the face to the other, then sweeping back under the chin. Move to the rear of the head, scanning the scalp and shoulders. Scan the torso in a spiral fashion, walking around your subject, and when you reach the legs, scan one leg down to the floor to establish a base. Then scan each leg, front and back, in a vertical pattern until you've scanned each leg entirely. Once you have finished scanning, you'll be left with two models. In this case, the pink one is the Fusion model. That's the one we're going to be working with today. Now it still has some holes, so we'll have to move over to Fix Holes to fill those in and make a watertight model. We will click Select All and then Fill Holes. Wait for that to process, and once it's done, you'll have a fully watertight model. Now we need to add texture, so we'll click Texture on the left hand side. We'll choose EVA Scan 2, as that is our scan with texture. We'll choose our texture size and click Apply. Once it's done processing, we'll have a fully textured model. It will load up some sliders on the left hand side that will let you adjust the brightness, saturation, hue, contrast, and gamma. We'll choose the settings that make our model look best and click Apply. Now our fully textured model is ready to be exported. Just go ahead and click on File, Export Meshes, and then choose the correct file format.